Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to try to explain to you guys how to get the best movement possible within Siege. So before the video starts, I'd just like to say, if you guys really enjoyed the video, I would appreciate any likes on the video, any subscriptions. It really does help me out here. But anyways, moving on. So the very first thing I'd recommend is you need to find a good DPI, okay? So what I would do for this to find your DPI is figure out what mouse you have or at least what brand mouse you have so for me it's the logitech g pro wireless so all you have to do is search for the logitech g pro wireless software on google download that software and change your dpi i would recommend to either 400 or 800 the reason being for that is that 400 and 800 is pretty much the average it's like the industry standard for like the pro players so i would really recommend you play on either 400 or 800 dpi as for your in-game sensitivity, I kind of made a video on this already. I'll have that video linked in the description below. But to sum that up, basically all you want to do is find a sensitivity in-game that you're really comfortable with doing 360s, doing 180s, and, you know, flicking onto two separate objects very consistently. It sounds like that's kind of stupid, you know, how would I find my sensitivity by doing 360s? But trust me, it really does help. Uh, again, just watch the video. I go in more depth in that video. So if you don't understand, just watch that video really quickly. Anyways, after you have your sensitivity, which is very, very important, I would recommend watching some really good players, watching Pro League, watching Challenger League, watching streamers, watching YouTubers, anything like that. Find someone who is actually really good at the game and just see how they play. Watch their movement. See how they turn around corners see how they flick to certain things just take note of their movement and try to remember that for when you go to play in game so you can sort of try to copy it a bit okay next up after that you're going to want to play a lot of t-hunt so much t-hunt okay and specifically t-hunt this isn't going to be mainly for aim training you're trying to better your movement so don't worry too much about aim training for this you're just trying to improve your movement. So don't worry about doing third-party aim trainers. I would highly recommend you do not do third-party aim trainers if you're trying to improve your movement. You, you're really not going to be able to significantly train your movement in Siege if you're playing a third-party aim trainer game. Okay, It's really not going to help you. It may help your aim a little bit, but not so much your movement. So after you've done all that, just remember to try not to do too much. Okay, I see a lot of people... They'll watch some streamer, they'll watch some YouTuber, they'll just try to copy their gameplay and their movement, but they'll do too much. They'll see that the streamer is like flicking or has really fast movement or something like that, and they'll try to do the same thing, but they do it too much, okay? You don't want to be too extra. Having flicky movement and snappy movement does not mean you have good movement, okay? Just because it's fast doesn't mean it's good. You want to have smooth, clean looking movement. If you have snappy movement, that's fine. You could pull it off and it could look really, really good. But if you do it too much, it's going to look really, really bad. So just be sure you're not over here bolo peeking, spamming your lean keys, flicking to things you don't need to. Just relax. Try to have smooth, consistent movement. Speaking of consistency, you need to be playing a lot, okay? You need to be playing as much as you can every day or at least a, you know five, six times a week. The reason being for this is that even even right like right now for example okay i was playing last night and i played for a good tw like 10 12 hours yesterday okay my movement and aim was really good because i had been playing all day i was warmed up i felt great and i was able to control my movement perfectly today i hopped on i haven't played it's 6 p.m i've not played at all today my first tn i look horrible my movement and everything's absolutely terrible okay you need to be sure you're playing a lot my mistake today was i had stuff going on and i wasn't able to play until now so it's been too much time since yesterday from when I played last, so my movement is just off, and that's going to end up throwing my aim off, okay? Having really good movement can actually help your really aim. Quickly before the video goes on, I just want to say that this video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket, and it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It's designed to easily fit in your front pocket. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying on old receipts and gift cards in an unorganized mess. Why have we moved from large flip phones to smartphones but still carry the same wallet? 
It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. If this wasn't enough to win you over yet, check out our 30,000 5 star reviews. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for your entire life. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll actually let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. I'm personally using the carbon fiber version and I love it. Its sleek design is amazing. This honestly feels as good as when I went from a wired mouse to a wireless mouse. It actually makes that much of a difference. It's also made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers, which is never something I had really thought about, but I love that this wallet has it. Get your very own Ridge wallet with 10% off at ridge.com slash shock and use code shock s-h-a-w-k that's ridge.com slash shock for 10 percent off the link will be in the description the next thing i want to say is crosshair placement crosshair placement is so 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 important for movement okay having good crosshair placement is huge not only are you going to get more kills with your crosshair placement being good but your aim and your movement overall is going to look so much more clean all right there's nothing worse than having you know pretty decent movement and then you go to pre a corner and you're aiming at the ground okay the one of the main things on having good movement is having good crosshair placement always having your crosshair where it needs to be okay if you have your crosshair somewhere where it doesn't need to be your movement in general is going to look bad you need to have good crosshair placement if you go to pre a corner make sure your head level make sure you're aiming at the right spot on you know to turn that corner or whatever it may be all right having bad crosshair placement can really make or break good movement and the very final thing this is going to take you quite a while you're going to have to watch a lot of people play you're going to have to do some mental notes take note of what they're doing how they play you're gonna have to do a whole bunch of t-hunt to learn this it is not something that you're going to watch this video and then load up siege and just have great movement okay that's kind of impossible it's going to take a lot of time for example i started on xbox and i have like almost 2000 hours played on xbox i played basically when the game first came out when i switched to pc it took me almost six months i think six plus months actually to have even decent movement on this game all right. And I will say the thing that really, really helped push me to have better movement, the thing that really pushed me over the edge to become like a better player uh, movement wise was definitely having a good sense and a good DPI. So, again, if you guys would like to watch that video, I'll have it linked in the description. I go over exactly how to find your DPI and your in-game sense. I highly recommend you watch that. It's going to help you guys out way, way more than you think it will. But Overall, it's going to take you a lot of time. So don't get sad if it's been a week and your movement still isn't like significantly better. You don't look like Bolo yet. It's fine. It's going to take you maybe two, three months. But if you practice every single day, you can speed that up. You could have crazy movement in a month, a month and a half. You just have to put in the time. All right. But that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If you guys have any more questions, be sure to follow me on Twitch. The link will be in the description. I try to stream as much as possible every single week. That is one of the best places to ask me questions. If you do want to, though, the best place to ask me questions on is my Discord, which I'll also have linked in the description. The absolute best way to ask me direct questions is on Discord. And it's also the best way to keep updated with everything i'm doing whether i'm going live on twitch there's a new youtube video out stuff like that so make sure you're in my discord make sure you follow me on twitch also i'll have those two videos link in the description as well the aim training video and also the how to find your sense slash dpi video so if you guys would like to watch those you can also at 100k subs i said this before at 100k subs i will have merch coming out so if you guys haven't already i really would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel drop a like on the video it really does help me out quite a lot but as always, guys, thanks for watching.